Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Edwin the Comic Jabroni, and I am back. Thank you for tuning in. This is my new comic book day pickups and review video. I am outside my local comic shop on new comic book day. I'm about to walk in to pick up three weeks worth of books. Now, this video is going to be more of a pickups than a review video. I don't want to get too long. So stay tuned and let's find out what did the Jabroni pick up three weeks. Peace. Yo, welcome back guys. As always, I'm Edwin the Comic Jabroni and you are tuned in to my new comic book day pickups and review. Today is new comic book day. Well, it was 3rd of July, but I'm recording this on Independence Day, the 4th of July, so happy Independence Day to all of you in the United States of America. And to everybody else, happy new comic book day. As you guys can tell right here in front of me, I got stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks of books. This is three weeks worth of books that I had to pick up from my local comic shop, guys. That's what happens when, you know, you're away. So, we're going to get into it, man. I got Independence, I got DC, I got Marvel. We're going to start it off. As always, guys, check down in the description below. If you want to know what I picked up from Indies, from Marvel, or from DC, I'm going to put the timestamp in there. So, without further ado, let's get into the books. All right, guys, we're starting it off with Marvel this week because Marvel had the smallest stack out of the three. We're going to start it off with Thor number four. 14. I really dig this cover. I hadn't been picking up Thor for a while. You know, with everything going on in War of the Realms, I, I, I just didn't pick up uh, the regular issue of Thor. But I really dig this cover with uh, Thor down there in the bottom. About to fight the big symbiote Venom. I don't know what's going on in this issue. And uh, can't wait to read it, man. Let me tell you something about this whole new comic book day pick up some review video today. It's going to be less reviews, more pickups. I picked up so many books yesterday, I just didn't have a chance to read them all. And if I did a review on every book, this this video would be an hour long. So we're not going to do that. We're going to run through these, man. So we got Thor. Next up, we have Thanos. 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 How do you say it? Thanos or Thanos? I don't know. Thor says, Thanos. Get me Thanos. But we got Thanos number three. I'm digging it, man. I loved issue number one and number two. Showing you uh, that prehistory with Gamora and Thanos and the Black Order. Really digging that. Next up, we got Conan the Barbarian. This is issue number seven. Man, I've been really liking uh, this Conan, this main series. Not so much Savage Sword of Conan, but I haven't read it since issue number two or three. So, I don't know. It could have gotten better. But Conan the Barbarian is really good. Showing that showing that history of Conan before he became King Conan and these East Side Ribbage covers. Amazing. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man number 24. This is one of those secret variants. I don't know, not so secret, right? So I thought I was gonna stop picking up Amazing Spider-Man after that last hunt with Kraven, but I heard in this issue that we're gonna find out who this uh, masked, you know, that masked villain is. Or at least figure out who his name is. So that could be a key issue. I don't know. I picked it up. I have not read it yet, man. All right. We got War of the Realms number six. This is the finale to War of the Realms, guys. I, going into War of the Realms, thought it was going to be better than it was. The first two or three issues were amazing. I was like, yes, this is the big huge climactic battles and the whole earth is involved and I really dug it and then it it died man it really died it, it wasn't that great uh, for them to finish it off in six issues and this is supposed to be a summer blockbuster I wasn't a fan I haven't read it six so I don't know how it ends but I gotta say for them to be a six issue instead of a 10 or 12 kind of sucks man Next up, we got Guardians of the Galaxy. This is number six. I've really been digging it. Donnie Cates has been writing it. Uh, we're going to find out Thanos and who he's taking over. Because as you remember, Thanos got... But then, in his uh, his little uh, farewell speech, he said that he's going to be... His, his mind, brain, everything, soul is going to be put into somebody else. We're going to find out in this issue, guys. Uh, we got Wolverine, Exit Wounds. 
Now, uh, this is brand new. It came out, I want to say last week, right? And it says brand new tales by legendary creators. We got Chris Claremont, Salvador La Roca, Scott Eaton, Larry Hama, and Sam Keith. Uh, you know, I like I like picking up Wolverine stuff. I haven't been picking up any of the Dead Man Logan, which I kind of wish I had been. But, you know, this X of Wounds, can't wait to read it. I want to read more, especially with uh, with Claremont right, man. That dude was amazing. Next up, next up, next up, we got Savage Avengers number three with that Conan cover, and he's got that he's got that symbiote sword. What's going on? I dug issues one and two. It didn't take itself too seriously. It's exactly what you want. It's a Savage Avengers. It's got a team full of guys that do not care how they get the mission done. And Conan being in the MCU in the 616, I'm digging it. Not everybody is, but I like it, man. And last up. Came out this week. Hope you guys all picked it up. That is Immortal Hulk number 20. I did not get the uh, the secret variant. Uh, I didn't see it there. So I guess this one was a little more secret than the others. And all it was was just the carnage carnage blood on the Hulk letters. Really digging um, Immortal Hulk. I hope you guys have been picking up. We've been talking. Uh, me and the rest of the comic community on YouTube have been talking about Immortal Hulk. It's, uh, it, I guess it's not for everybody, but it's for the rest of the 97% of comic book readers, guys. So, anyways, that's it for Marvel. Let's move in to Independence, guys. This is going to be the biggest of the bunch. First up from Independence, you know this wouldn't be a new comic book day pickups and review video without Edwin talking about some Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Kawabunga, huh? So, this is Teenage, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 94. Now, this one came out last month. I've already made a pickups video on this, but this was the A cover of City at War issue number two. So, I wanted to pick up City at War number two. And yesterday, New Comic Book Day, issue 95 came out for Ninja Turtles. This is City at War part three. Really digging the City at War. Takes me back to the older, um, to the older City at War run that they had back in the early 90s this is the c cover the variant cover i'm always on the main line of turtles picking up the variants which these are one in tens uh, i get lucky my local comic shop sells them to me at cover price and it's always a different artist with their take on the turtles really digging it continuing on with that turtles theme this is a dc idw book but this is batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is number three from the third series. We're continuing on with the multiverse story. Batman and the Turtles have been fused like uh, Dragon Ball Z. Fusion! Yeah! Something like that. Anyways, really liking that, man. Uh, book came out. This came out last week or two weeks ago. I was really hoping my, my comic shop still had some left because I forgot to put it down on my pull list. And this is Usagi Yojimbo number one from uh, Stan Sakai, who created the character back in the 80s, I wanna say. Uh, you know, this, with the Turtles, was a big part of my childhood, right? Because a lot of us from the 80s remember Usagi Yojimbo from the Ninja Turtles cartoons, and I even have his figure in my glass case back here. So, absolutely love Usagi Yojimbo. Can't wait to get into this. All right, guys, next up, we got Descendant number three. This is from Aftershock, uh, issue one and two. We're really great. I'm hoping three continues on with that trend. I haven't read it. Banjax number two, guys, from Action Lab. I read this one, and I gotta tell you, it is amazing. I hope that Action Labs can continue to push out this Banjax, because it is great. Issue number one was awesome. You get a story told from the perspective of the protagonist slash antagonist right banjax issue number two i read you get the story told from the other protagonist who was like the sidekick to banjax right it's like the whole batman robin except now that robin has become more celebrity than the original guy banjax guys go find this it is amazing next up i've been on this train for a while guys from image little bird issue number four have not read it yet can't wait to get down and read it it is Little Bird has been an amazing story, artwork's pretty good, and bloody and gory as all get out. I tried to get Perry and Rod to read this. Perry read it. Rod, he said it might be a little too much for him. So, 
I don't know. He likes his My Little Ponies or something. <laughs> uh, next up from Boom Studios, man, we got Faithless number three. This is the erotic cover. I won't be showing it to you because it, it is erotic. It's not as bad as issue number two. I think issue number two erotic cover was just way out there. But number number three is good. I flipped through the pages. Not Nothing too crazy in there except for the end. All right, guys, from Scout Comics, we've got Category Zero. This is number two. If you like your, if you like a good mutant story, you're like this, man. Issue number one was great. Issue number two, I read. You're still getting more of this one percenters who have the ability to become super powered because of that one percent gene. You know, there is one percent of the world that has this gene that this virus can attach to and give you superpowers. So you find out more about what's going on and what the government's going to be doing to try to round these people up. Amazing. All right, guys, from Boom Studios again, I picked up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 40 because on CBSI.com, I, I want to say it was CBSI, I saw an article that said, this is an issue of Power Rangers that we should be picking up. And I think it's because there are new Power Rangers that appear in this issue. Plus, I really dig this cover with the uh, with the white Power Ranger. You know, back in the 90s, early 90s, I was a fan of the Power Rangers. You know, the Green Ranger was one of my favorites, and then when he became, spoiler alert, Green Ranger, Tommy becomes the White Ranger. I don't know, it's been 20, 30 years. So, anyways, digging it, man. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Uh, what do we got next? We got another image, number one, man. Space Bandits. This is a Mark Millar story. I was not gonna get it. But one of the guys that works at my local comic shop, man, he talked it up. He was like, dude, you pick it up, man. Mark Millar, this is going to be a great series. I got the B cover, which is like a black and white, and then the only thing that's in color is the bandits. You could get the A cover and everything is colored, but I really dig this cover, man. Really digging it. All right, let's keep going, man. Independence is a long one. I want to get through it. want to get through it. want to get through it. Now, this is from Albatross. Eric Powell, The Goon, number three, really liked issue number two. Issue number one was, eh, it was okay. A lot of people, man, they fell head over heels for it. I just thought it was okay, but enough to get me to get number two, thankfully. Because number two, man, I was laugh out louding. Is that how you say it? Something like that. I really dug it, man. I hope Goon, issue number three, does the same for me. Now, ooh, man, another aftershock, guys. This is Killer Groove. Killer Groove. <laughs> Killer Groove number two, man. This, I hope it's just as good as number one. This is, you got a failed uh, artist, musician that wants to become a hitman for the mob or he gets approached by the mob to become a hitman. I hope number two takes off just like that number one did. All right, next up, guys, from, uh, this is from Image, issue 298 of Spawn, guys. You know, this, if, you, if you've if you ever wanted to get in Spawn, this is the A cover. I also picked up the B cover. These are homage covers to Amazing Spider-Man 298, also drawn by McFarlane. If you've ever wanted to get on Spawn, this is the time to get in and get your, you know, get your fingers and your hands and everything. Just dive deep into Spawn because this is telling you the whole history of Spawn from issue number one all the way up to issue 295. Right, because 296, 297, 298 are telling that history. We're leading up to issue number 300, guys. All right, a couple more, couple more, man. Another image, number one. We got Sea of Stars. This is a new book written by Jason Aaron. This cover right here is done. I'm gonna take a few of these books off. This, oh, don't want that to fall. Ooh, that was a close one, right? So, this is written by Jason Aaron. This cover is done by Mike Mignola which a lot of you guys are gonna gonna know from Hellboy. Um, don't know anything about it, had a ton of hype, ton of hype. So when I saw it there, they my local comic shop only had one copy of this B cover. They had a ton of the A covers, but only one of the B, so I'm glad I really, I'm, I'm really glad that I picked it up. I'm gonna read this later on. Have not had a chance to read it, guys. Have not had a chance. All right, in the big book that came out yesterday from Image, everybody was talking about it. Some people were saying, Nah, don't pick it up because you're never going to read it. Other people were like, go get it, go get it. Uh, amazing book. Like, guys, Walking Dead, 193. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. I had, to, I had to pick it up. My LCS had it for one per customer, right? Uh, I saw people going into the local comic shop yesterday only picking up this book. 
not picking up anything else, which worries me because that's what happened back in the 90s. But there were still a ton of people in my local comic shop that I recognized that were picking it up. Uh, but this is the end of Walking Dead as we know it. Now, they could bring it back with offshoots and, and other stories, which is easy, right? They built this huge world that we know, so it's easy to create other comic book series off of The Walking Dead. But this right here, it is the end of 193, guys. So, that's what I had from Independence Man. Let's move into DC, guys. All right, first book from DC. We got Superman Year One. I want to say this came out like two weeks ago. I picked up the B cover. This one is done by Frank Miller. Um, there is, you know, I think Frank Miller writes it, and then John Romita Jr. draws the interiors. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I absolutely hate John Romita Jr. artwork. I don't hate the man, uh, but I do not, I'm not a fan of his artwork. I never have been. Uh, I think it is, um, it's atrocious. Acquired taste, I guess, but I've heard really good things about this, so I had to go out and pick it up because I'm a fan of year one stories, okay? Next up, we've got Batman Damned from Azarello and Bermejo. This is issue number three, the finale of the whole Batman Damned that started way back in like September of last year. I mean, it took almost a year for three issues to come out. It's almost feeling like Doomsday Clock, but finally it's done. Haven't read it yet, don't know what happens, but I picked up the A cover and I had to pick up the B cover, man. I've, I've done it for all three issues. I've picked up the A and the B, so really glad to uh, to have this, guys. Let's keep going. Book came out this week. This is Deceased issue number... You know what? I'm going to take these off. And bam, just get you with that one right there. Yeah. All right, so Deceased issue number three. Read this. This is the Nun Horror Homage cover with Superman on there. Half his face is torn off, right? And you get the scary looking... I read it. Yet again, another one with Tom Taylor, man, just rips your heart out, bro. Because there is, there's a part in here with Superman and his parents, and it's like, damn, what's he going to do, you know? Superman's having to make the hard choices, guys. Deceased. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we got Justice League number 12. Really awesome Swamp Thing cover. I want to say this came out like a week or two ago. Uh, I've never been a fan, never really been a fan of magic in the DC universe, but Justice League Dark, Wonder Woman... Zatanna, Constantine, they got me into it. I'm digging Justice League Dark. Another year one story. This is chapter four from The Flash. This is issue number 73. Digging it. Listen, if you've never really gotten into reading The Flash, these Flash year one stories, I've told you over and over, this is a perfect jumping in point, man. Jumping in point. All right, continuing on, we got Batman 33. This is the B cover. This is the Andrew, uh, Andrew Care cover. Absolutely loving Batman Beyond. I wish I jumped on from the very, very beginning of at least a rebirth. You know, I jumped in maybe about 10 issues ago, and I'm absolutely loving it, guys. Book that came out yesterday, Deathstroke, number 45. Digging this, digging this A cover. We're finding out in this who the new Deathstroke is. Who could it be? Detective Comics 1006 got this B cover. Uh, I don't know who drew it, but I really like it. Um, you know, it finished off with that Arkham Knight story in the last issue. So now they're moving into something new. Can't wait to read it, guys. All right, I had jumped off this bandwagon, and I'm back in. This is Batman 73, written by Tom King. I'm prepping myself for this whole City at Bane story. So I'm jumping back into Batman 73. And we'll see. Not exactly sure. I don't know. Moving on, we got Justice League 26. Digging this cover. Got Starman. You got the Legion of Doom. Tell him, Hawk. <laughs> For all you wrestling fans, you'll understand that one. Legion of Doom 26. And yesterday, Legion of Doom 27 came out. This whole year, the villain is taking over DC Universe. And I'm absolutely enjoying it. Next up, we got Teen Titans. Number 31. Hey, Crush versus Lobo. Who's finna win? I'm not a big fan of Lobo like Perry is. I like it. I think he's a funny guy. But uh, Teen Titans has been amazing. Damian Wayne Robin as the leader of the Teen Titans. You got this 
crazy group of teenage superheroes trying to fight it out to see, you know, whose side is really going to win, right? Because Damien is the center, then you got these other, you know, these other teenagers, man. And it's, it's just an awesome read, guys. I got Perry hooked on it, got Perry hooked on Deathstroke. He can't stop reading it. I'm hoping to get some of you guys to pick it up and continue to read it, too. Next up, we got Nightwing 61. You know, Nightwing's been pretty good after he got shot in the head, lost his memories. Now he's, instead of Dick Grayson, he is now Rick Grayson. Thank God. Why would anybody ever call a superhero character Dick? But I guess that was a thing back in the uh, the 30s and 40s where Dick was just a common name. But not anymore. So thankfully, they changed him to Rick Grayson. I dig it. He has, he still has the ability to fight because it's all muscle memory, you know? <laughs> The Last Dragon. If you guys seen that movie, let me know. It is amazing, right? Leroy. Bruce Leroy. Anyways, yo, so Nightwing, I'm, I'm liking it. I like the new direction that they're taking him. I haven't read this issue yet, but it's been it's been pretty good, guys, for the about, about like last six or seven issues, I gotta say. That's why it continues to be on my pull list, huh? And the last issue, guys, we got Adventures of Super Sons. Number 12, if you guys watch Buyer Pass on Tuesday night, you'll know that I said that this was my favorite cover, favorite regular cover of the week. I dig it, man. You got Jonathan Kent, Superboy. You got Damian Wayne. You got their adult counterparts looking all badass like, man, yeah, sucker, you better get off of me. Bam. I'm digging it, man. The only thing that that you know I'm sad about is this is the last issue to Adventures of Super Sons it was only a 12 issue maxi series so uh series number two is is done right so they had Super Sons now they had Adventures of Super Sons so hoping they bring it back with the volume three and it's called Super Sun Adventures right oh snap that's my that's my term I coined it so DC you want in on that you have to pay me so guys that's it from new comic book day three weeks worth of books sorry i didn't have them in order from this week to this week to this week but i'm just throwing them out there man this is everything that i picked up i got a lot of reading to do this weekend guys as always i'm edwin the comic jabroni if this is your first time watching one of my videos think about hitting that subscribe button guys i'm dropping videos every week dropping two videos three videos i started incorporating video game videos in started incorporating some toy videos because there's pop culture you know and people that love different things about pop culture so i want to incorporate more of that into my videos for this one think about hitting that like button or that dislike button hey it's all good with me man i enjoy it hit me up with a comment what'd you pick up out of everything that i picked up what was your favorite book so guys until next time i'm edwin the comic jabroni and i will see you peace